Keyshawn Davis said he would be open to fighting Shakur Stevenson. After a fan said, um, after a fan seen that uh, Keyshawn Davis on Twitter, uh, he said that Keyshawn was ranked number three in the WBC, and that Keyshawn was taking up somebody else's spot because Keyshawn had never, you know, fight the champion Shakur Stevenson, and then he proceeded to say. Keyshawn to never get a title at 35. He should move up to 40. I mean, he barely a contender, in my opinion. Even though he ranked number three in the WBC, he barely a contender. He ain't fought nobody. He fought Pedraza coming back down in 35 from 40, but... I mean, but... Can Boso fight would be nice. Um, I think Yvonne Mendy still hanging around. A Joseph Diaz would be a fight in the right direction. Um, you know, just to think of a few. But um, the guy that Shakir Stevenson fighting hard on, that would have been a good fight for him. Real talk. Remember, he was talking shit to Frank Martin. And Frank Martin had to pull that nigga to the side saying, I don't do all that shit. And one thing I said about Frank Martin, you could tell he was really in the street. Unlike the rest of these niggas. You can tell they weren't street niggas. You can tell that. Like, certain street niggas, like, they got a certain, they move a certain, like, a certain, a certain, they got a certain patience about them. Now these niggas running their mouth like they was, and I was like, nah, I could tell he wasn't in the street. He pulled, when it was on camera, he pulled, you know, Keyshawn to the side and said, look here, man. I don't do all that that bullshit that that back and forth dog. You know, you know, we fight down the line, we fight. I respected that, and I think Keyshawn Davis respected it. And Keyshawn just trying to market his stuff, and I respect it though. But I don't respect that hating that shit that nigga be doing. Like the way niggas be he be hating on Dev, I just don't respect that shit because that shit. A lot of them niggas that be hating on Dev is jealousy. Damn. I seen that shit growing up. It's kind of the equivalent. What they doing to him. It's the equivalent of black girls. Beating up pretty light skinned. Or mulatto girls in school. You know what I'm saying. That's the equivalent of it. You know. Us growing up we knew it. Little bald headed. Dark skinned ugly girl in class. You know what I'm saying? Jealous of the, the light-skinned, pretty, the mulatto, light-skinned, or light-skinned women. And they just pick with them, pick with them, fight with them, jump them. They jump them because they was just pretty. Now, what we know is the vast majority of these women are on the other side of the rainbow. Bob it just may be attraction. It might not just have been jealousy. It might be an attraction, but that's what they doing to Dev. And, you know, just niggas just be jealous. I grew up like that. Niggas jealous for no reason. And what life told me about them two type of dudes, niggas like that, that show jealousy, get away. Get away from them. Don't be cool with them. They don't time to get on, you know, you get on from school, get off work. You know, they know you in and out. That's why, you know, they say keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Bullshit. I don't believe in that. Because the people that's closer to you, your friends, they are your enemies anyway, most of the time. I know how you moving. So I ought to keep my enemies close so they can see how I'm moving. That makes no fucking sense. But, back to the topic. Him, him fight Shakur. If Shakur lead top rank, top rank probably, probably got no problem doing it. Well, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I don't. And that's my opinion. But, you know, one thing about Shakur Stevenson kind of would turn me off 
to him other than him trying to be a, a nigga reeking and have top rain making him hold that flag up and you know him just being a fucking hater was when you know the joe gonzalez fight kind of i kind of was like eh. and i you know i'm still a fan I, I fuck with him i'm just gonna be objective about it the joe gonzalez fight for me when that whole situation when he was dating his sister and he knew they was racist he spared him. Went down there and sparred them first. Then for their respect. And then he 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 speared him in the ring and then tried to knock him out. Man. That was just a uh that was just a preview was to come. He ain't no finisher, dog. He ain't got no killer instinct. He got the mindset, you know, he talks shit, he believes this, he ain't no killer though. That's fine. Everybody ain't gonna be no killer. Anyway, that's fine. But him, if I had somebody that didn't like me because I was black, and that's why they didn't want me dating their sister, man, fuck what she feeling like. I'm going out there to put that motherfucker in a pine box. I'm going out there. I'm trying to put him eight feet under the ground. So, you know, you get in with Keyshawn Davis. He's just going to try to outbox Keyshawn. He ain't going to really try to get busy with Keyshawn and try to take no chances to take Keyshawn out. That's his boy. He wouldn't even take a racist-ass Joe Gonzalez out. So, that's just my opinion on it. So, it'd be good for aesthetics as far as the uh, build-up and him talking shit, but he won't get in there and hurt each other. He's going to be giving each other a a light Swedish massage. I mean, they ain't, they ain't gonna really get busy, in my opinion. But if they gonna fight, absolutely fucking not. Keyshawn just ain't never man. Top rank ain't got. I mean, he ain't been in there with with Joseph Diaz, William Zapata. I mean, uh, Oscar Durant. You know, he ain't been in there with the... That's why I really, really consider him a prospect. He ain't been in there with the true contenders at 35. You know? And, and, and it's his fault. But... I think he get a contender or two under his belt. Then you can start thinking about that. But him saying that Keyshawn never getting a title shot... I mean, it might be true. Tank ain't gonna fight him. Lomachenko probably ain't gonna try to be trying to fight him. You know, that Barashnik guy, they gonna probably do the Ukrainian unification between uh, what uh, Loma got, the IBF, and, and Barashnik got the WBO. So yeah, they ain't gonna be trying to put Keyshawn in there with Loma in there with Keyshawn. You know, so gotta wait to see what opened up. Well, you know, he's sanctioned about why he's going to protect Tank. They're going to protect Lomachenko. And then, you know, him and Shakura fight. Really, that might be his best opportunity. Shit's sad, ain't it? That sanctioned about, sanctioned about bodies don't even have the integrity. Sanctioned about bodies don't even have the integrity anymore to do what's right. But he, I mean, going up to 140 gonna get interesting too. I right, so I get it in time. Russell fighting Devin Haney for the WBC. That should be very interesting, right? You know, so um, that should be very interesting. So, hmm. But uh, but I don't see them fighting. Not right now. I think Kushan need about two or three more fights. The rap, the Amendi, a Diaz, Joseph Diaz, a Zapata, somebody like that. 
then I think he'd be ready for he possibly be ready for a title shot. But before then, I don't think he fought enough, got enough, not enough repetition in there to be ready for a title shot. So I think some them, like two or three of those guys, then I think we have a better gauge of where he at as far as ready for a title shot. But when I watch him fight, I, I don't see nothing special. When I watch him fight, I really don't see nothing special. I don't see a lot of power. I don't see a lot of speed. Uh, I see a lot of accuracy, a lot of poise. But it's kind of still like he's still trying to find his way to uh, to pace himself. And maybe once he get comfortable with the the going 10, going 12, we'll see a little bit more. But I, I don't think he's one of the five best prospects in boxing. He might be five, you know, depending on who you consider a prospect. You know what I'm saying? So, um, he might be five. But we started talking about, you know, like top elite. I don't really see elite level. See, a really solid fighter. He could possibly be a world champion in the right division. But I don't see special. That's just my opinion. So, and I could be wrong. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, pilot fuck with my eyes. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We got a live drop video. Um, financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music. Check out the Patreon. Peace.